Good morning guys. It's been horrible weather on the south coast of Natal for quite a while now. And uh, it's rain, it's a lot of wind. It's this time of the year going from September into October. And uh, we're battling to putting inserts together with all the wind and stuff, but we found a little hidden spot. I'm here on the south coast, a spot called Stabal at Pamula, quite a popular spot. Uh, but this time of the year really there's some big shad still around you've got a week more or less to still fish for them uh, Then the season's closed and there's some bronze bream around there's some cob swimming around There's some even us even saw some tassel fish lantern fish lemon fish and of course uh, Some brush in the area. So this time of the year is when you pull out some scratching traces before the summer fish comes If the weather is right you can target some summer fish but right now, what I want to show you guys quickly today is a lovely scratching bait. It's an EP bait. Uh, the guys in the Eastern Province use this a lot. And uh, important, what I'm going to use, I've got some Natal red eye, very important, and some Chokka. So it's a Chokka red eye bait. And I'm using some sardine as well in the body. And that's what the EP bait consists of. There's sardine. Let's find them. <laughs> Sardine, Chaka and Red Eye. Okay, this all courtesy from At Can Marine where we get our bait. And first I'm just going to clean the Chaka. Actually want to just use a piece so I don't want to cut the whole Chaka up yet. And as you can see in front of me I've got the new Safari Chiller Light. Guys, this is what we all been waiting for in a bait box. Very light box, less than half the weight of the of the the fiberglass safari chillers with the same properties, the same freezing or preservative quality or preserving qualities as what the safari chillers got. Great quality, nice strong handles and reinforcement. The lid we use and we need for cutting, right box. Now first, leave that in the water a bit. And then I want to get a, a body bait. Okay which you guys will see. Still the best bait, uh, bait now, guys. Alrighty, okay. With the sardine, our sardine, our red eye, and our chocker. All right. Toothpicks, I need some toothpicks, which I use to secure my bait. My latex cotton, chocker hammer, and then of course a little bit of foam. Which I'm just gonna cut a piece the size I want. Alright guys, now for this type of scratching, to put a bait out there and be able to catch any one of those fish I named except maybe bronze bream and your copper breams, your smaller fish, but this is a nice size. It's the Mustad Ringed Soy Hook. You can fish from a 2.0 to a 4.0. Lovely, lovely little scratching hook. And you can land, always say a small hook can catch a big fish, but a big hook will not catch a small fish. So this will catch anything from one kilo up to 50 kilos if you can land it. I hooked an eagle ray on one of these hooks, 80 kilo eagle ray, which I landed as well. So you can really land big fish on these hooks. But important, like I always say, is fit the size of your bait to the size of your hook. So basically, I'm gonna cut my foam the size I want my bait to be, and I'll trim it now, okay? We're not 100% level here, so everything falls off a little bit. I'm gonna cut it a bit shorter there, but there. Now you can really play with this and shape it nicely. No need to for me to do that today, because I'm gonna pack it with bait. I'm gonna take my toothpick. And from the front of the hook, I'm gonna stick it through to the back. Here's my knife. And just trim it in the front. And that's to hold my foam, the bait on it, and just secure it. Now look what I do there, okay? I put the bait to the middle of the hook, Shang. 
as I want my hook. Two thirds really. I want my hook still to be proud after I put the bait on. And that comes down to where you comfortable with it. All right. Now that you're going to secure with cotton. Okay. It's important to put a lot of cotton on there, secure your foam nicely, and now you can just build your bait on it. All right. So what I'm going to do again, I start with a chocker body, and I want to make sure. Just give you guys an idea. I want tentacles. So I want it to hang about that much underneath, up to there. So that's pretty much the bait I'm going to, the size chocker I'm going to cut. It's from there. It's the nice slither. Okay, I don't want a long tentacle for this particular bait. Um, the bait, the foam as well guys, remember the foam is there to create that movement in the water. Cutting little tentacles in the bottom, a nice for movement you can use only two tentacles, in this case I made four. Let's trim it at the top and then the half slits I always do. You just slit it halfway down and that's to fold it nicely around the foam. And if you remember now I've got the toothpick here sticking out. So what I do is I put my hook in the middle here. I like putting it in one of the tentacles just where it starts. Fold it over and you see where that where that toothpick will be. I make a hole incision and I stick it through that hole. Now that secures the body of your bait nicely. Look, the hook is proud, the rest of the bait will build on the back. Then just moving over to the sardine. This is Natal sauce. Now you can either use the belly. I'm just going to use the little back piece like that. Cut the, the backbone out. Trim it nicely, just half slits, because this will fold as well. Normally cut that side, trim it a bit, and then just put it on the back, like that. Now you can make those tentacles much longer if you want. I just want this specific look. Because of course, after I've shown you this bait, I have to put it in the water, can't waste it. Now, that's nice and mushy, we'll let a lot of, lot of juices and oil come out underneath, slowly dispersing into the water. And that nice and thick piece, I cut. Let's cut it long enough. As you can see, it's a nice thick, thick, thick piece. Great for mushing it up and putting it over. And that's to keep keep that sardine inside and slowly let the flavor come out. You hit it on the skin side, always. At an angle, yeah, working at an angle. Push it up really nice. Basically put that mush side to the outside, like that. Shape it nicely with your hand. And then tie it on. Now you've got that nice, strong flavor of the mushed up chocker. Fresh sardine. You're gonna have in the water. Okay, guys, that's where we are now. You can fish this just like that. But now, 
we add the side the red eye belly at the back I'm gonna cut that nicely like that slice it out little diamond shape and I actually prefer the bait to be still semi frozen this actually defrosted very quickly now when I make this bait it just allows for a much neater bait that first five minutes in the water you've got a very very neat bait floating around there Smash that blood from the heart all the way down around your bait and basically that's your little EP bait lovely little bait the fish can can get stuck into all right so that's the EP bait sardine we'll start with a chocker body sardine uh, tail piece as part of the body then mushed up chocker around it to fold it and then a red eye belly on the outside guys now this will catch your bigger flat fish as well will catch anything now watch tomorrow I'll show you another little scratch bait the chocker prawn which is very popular for scratching fish uh, up to 10 kilo plus uh, from 1 kilo to 10 kilo I'll show that tomorrow and then the day after I'll show you guys a little nice double hook scratching trace I'm gonna throw it a bit later today so watch then if we get anything